10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our Starlink payload to its targeted drop-off orbit. Uh, moments ago, we've begun to throttle down our engines on the first stage in preparation for Max-Q. Uh, Max-Q is where the vehicle will experience the vehicle highest amount something. of aerodynamic pressure. Max-Q. And we've just passed max Q. Uh, in a couple of minutes, we'll have three events happening back to back. First is main engine cutoff, also known as Miko. This is where all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Se stage separation is where the first and second stage will separate from one another, with the first stage making its way back towards Earth for landing, while the second stage continues its journey with the third event, which is second engine start one, also known as SES-1. Uh, this is where the single engine on the second stage, our Merlin vacuum engine, lights up and will continue to propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. We're about 25 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Got some really cool footage of Falcon 9 right now. Stage separation confirmed. All right, we had successful main engine cutoff, uh, stage separation, and uh, our second stage engine is now up on power on the right-hand side of the screen. Again, on the left-hand side of the screen is our first stage. It's gonna make its way back to Earth to attempt landing for the sixth time on our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Next event coming up is fairing deploy. It should happen just a few seconds from now. Bearing separation confirmed. And off goes those fairing halves, and now exposing the 60 Starlink satellites to space. Uh, 